I now have five family friends who have lost their adult children to opioid overdose. If you never start taking the drugs, you're not going to have a problem. And when we make it so hard for them to get into the country, beyond even New Hampshire, because we're going to have that wall, that wall is going to be so big and so strong and so powerful, and we're going to have our border guards. Ready? Let me mm -hmm. see here. In 2016, the candidates talked about addiction and, and what they're going to do, and they talked, and most of them had really good ideas, um, and they talked about it as the number one thing in 2016. Um, I found that everybody talked about it. Um, and then this year, I haven't yet. Mm. He's mad at me. Everybody has their cause or things that's important to them. And in New Hampshire, we are losing, you know, more than a person a day. And we have been for many, many years um, to um, substance use disorders. I honestly just want to see change and people be proactive rather than reactive. And I feel like every four years it gets talked about and then it gets lost. Uh, we don't really do much with it. And that's something needs to change because this should be like one of the top priorities. Um, there's so many people dying. There's so many people struggling. They really, the next four years, cannot continue the way that it has been because we are just going to, it's just going to, it's going to be so bad. You know, what I am looking for to hear from people that represent um, us is that, number one, that they do um, that they recognize that substance use disorder is a disease that should be treated just the way any other disease is treated. It is a, you know, in, that it is also a public health emergency in the same way that COVID was, and it should have the same type of supports, um, and that it's a stigmatizing, discriminated disease, and that they are not going to punish people um, that have substance use disorders. And he's like, Carter, Cardi B. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs>